Hey you guys, what's up? Hey girl, hey. It is your girl Tosh and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited you guys. Like seriously, I have been waiting to get into this room today so that I could film this video because it has been so long since I have been able to film one of these. I'm gonna film a Walmart haul. <laughs> A Walmart haul and things that I got free. Now, this is only going to be a few products that I've gotten for free because I have not exactly had the time to gather them all up to do a what I've gotten for free video. So, if you want to grab a snack, grab a drink, I will give you time to do that and let's just jump right in. Alright you guys, so first thing is first, I want to talk to you guys about a few of the things that I've gotten for free and I will let you know how I got them for free. It will also be listed down in the description box, so please go ahead and check that out. Now I do want to say a disclaimer, there are no surveys to do to get anything for free, so if you are redirected to a site that is asking you to put in information to complete surveys, you are on the wrong site. You want to make sure that you actually click the link that I use down in my description box. So you will have to sign up for this company and you will be put on a wait list. There are a lot of people that participate in what this company does and it's not surveys. They literally send you an email and say, hey, we have such and such, do you want to test it out? And you go sign into your dashboard on the company and you either let them know, hey, I want to request the product, product or you just ignore it and you don't get that product. So I do want to say that I had somebody really upset with me one time when I linked the information down below and she was like, oh, it's asking me to fill out surveys. And I'm like, okay, you did something wrong because it's not going to ask you to fill out surveys. So all of these products are completely free. The only thing that you have to do to continue getting free products from this company is write an authentic, legit review. You know, basically letting them know that you use the product, do you love it, do you hate it, so on and so forth. You choose what you get. So um, basically the only thing that you have to fill out is a questionnaire about yourself and things that you are interested in, like household items, food, um, alcohol, um, electronics. People have gotten TVs, stereo systems. I got a dresser that was worth like $300. It's very, very pretty. Um, I've also gotten a ton of stuff for the dogs. Nick's gotten power tools. Uh, we've gotten clothes, shoes, makeup, hair care, all kinds of stuff. So first product that I want to show you guys that I got for free is these LED Christmas lights. Okay, no big deal. These are not like super expensive or anything. But it's a 43 foot, 200 count of mini lights. They were giving them away and I was like, well, I wanted to do Christmas lights in my background this year uh, for the holidays anyway. So if I just write a review on these, then I don't have to buy them. Cool. So I did pick these up. You guys will see these in my background this year for the holidays. All right, you guys. So the next product that I got is from Simple Mills. They sent over this cute little reusable tote, which if you don't know, I am obsessed with. I hate those plastic bags that you get from the grocery store. Um, so I love when a company sends me free totes. Now they sent over this Simple Mills almond flour baking mix and it is a banana muffin and or bread mix. It's supposed to be more natural. It's made with almond flour. But again, this stuff is kind of pricey in the grocery store. So when they asked if I wanted to try it, we're trying to eat better. I was like, mm-hmm. So all I have to do is make these muffins and write a review on them, period. That's it. I don't have to do any surveys. I don't have to answer, you know, a bunch of questions about, you know, this or that that has nothing to do with this. You literally write a review and that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a couple more products that I have gotten from them, you guys. They've sent over some very expensive bedroom sets. Like when I say bedroom sets, I mean like comforter sets. So here's a picture of the first one here. And then here is a picture of the second one here. Now both of those comforter sets total well over $400 between the two of them. So all I had to do was write a review for them. I don't get any kickbacks for sharing this with you. It's just... I'm getting free stuff like this and I want to share it with everybody else. So definitely, definitely check that out. All right, you guys, let's get into my Walmart haul. So in my little reusable bag of goodies, <laughs> when I finally got to go to Walmart, I picked up three of these 
and I made sure that the shelf was stocked before I picked myself up three of these. These are the body powders that I am always raving to you guys about. Um, this one is in lavender and it comes with a little puff, you know, so you can just pat, pat, pat your powder on you all bougie like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then this one is uh, Tranquil Breeze. Now again, I did pick up two of the lavender, one of the Tranquil Breeze. These are $1.98 and you get five ounces. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find these at the Walmarts closest to me. Therefore, I have to pick them up whenever I can find them. Again, they are two bucks. You cannot order these off the website, unfortunately. I have tried and tried and tried, and I think it's probably because they're so brittle. I mean, either that or it's because they're so cheap. I'm not sure, but you do have to find these in a store, and let me turn down some of this lighting so you guys can see the actual label here in case you're interested. That is what the lavender one looks like. And here is what the Tranquil Breeze looks like. Now, I have been using these for years. My mom turned me on to these. And being a larger girl, I like powder. I like to smell good throughout the day. It really does help keep you a little more fresher throughout the summer months as well as the winter months. I sweat a lot, so I love these. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so the next few products that I picked up, super, super, super stoked to find. I am a big fan of Bath & Body Works. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to buy from Bath & Body Works within the last however long COVID's been going on because COVID has really put a dent in my income. Let's just say that. So I was cruising Walmart aisles the other day because I had to go pick up some medication and I decided to buy these. These are the Suave Essentials uh, Moisturizing Hand Soaps. You get 13 and a half ounces for less than $2. This is the Milk and Honey one. It says it's a moisturizing hand soap. It washes away dirt and germs. Fragrances as beautiful as Bath and Body Works. I'll be the judge of that. Ooh, that smells amazing. Y'all gotta try this stuff. Now, if you have not tried out these suave body washes that are compared to Bath & Body Works, let me tell you, they're decent. They're so decent, they're very moisturizing, and the scents linger, they linger, they're so good. My favorite one is their Mandarian, Mango Mandarian, and I actually prefer the suave one over the Bath & Body Works. So again, this one is Milk & Honey. This one is Coconut Water, and this one says it is hydrating with aloe. Let's see what this one smells like. Oh yeah, I like that. That's nice. And then this one is rose water and aloe. Again, they all say fragrances as beautiful as Bath and Body Works. And this one says it is soothing. Let's see if it smells like rose water and ivy. It actually smells better. <laughs> So yeah, don't don't let the Suave tag fool you. There are quite a few products that I actually do like from Suave, including a hair care item, which you guys will see in a video soon. Very, very, very soon. Okay, so the next product that I always pick up at Walmart are these Medi Pedi. Um, they're supportive and compression socks. I know, I'm getting old. <laughs> but I like them from there because they last a, quite a long a while and... Um, they're cheap. They're like $9 for two pairs. So they come in a pack like this. I actually have a pair on right now. I get swelling in my legs um, just from a medical issue. And so it like creates pain in my legs and feet. So I swear by these. Um, my mom actually turned me on to these and they work really, really well. So again, I buy them at Walmart because to me they're decent quality for like less than $10 for two pair. All right, moving on to some fun stuff. Hi girl, hi! I'm gonna insert a picture of the coat that Bubba got, but it is by Vibrant Life Apparel, and I picked him up the size small in that, and here's what the brand is. It was pretty affordable. Um, Bubba gets really, really cold in the winter time, so he hates being outside, so I have to buy him coats maybe once every two years or so, so. All right, guys, let's move into some makeup items. Y'all didn't think I was gonna go to Walmart without buying no makeup, did you? <laughs> I know I actually have for quite a while. I've not bought any makeup from Walmart in a very long time. All right, guys, first things first, here is a boring one, kind of. 
LA Colors launched some of their brushes at Walmart. Now you can either get, I want to say you can get the whole set there, but I didn't see the whole set at my Walmart. They only had three of the brushes, which was a nice range. They had a powder brush, a blush, blush brush, and then the shadow blending brush. Now this was $1.98, so very affordable. I know that their other brushes there are also very affordable. I don't think I saw one over $3. So definitely check that out in the section where they have makeup brushes at Walmart. Also in the nail section, and this is why I still have a few nails on even though my hands look terrible, is because I was waiting to do this haul. This is the Kiss Glue Off Instant False Nail Remover, and I'm waiting to try it. So I think it was under $5 and a subscriber actually told me about it. So hey girl, hey, thank you so, so much. I finally picked it up. <laughs> Moving on to the next products. These are by Wet n Wild and I get stoked about these every single year. I love when they release the Fantasy Makers collections. So um, this one actually looks very similar to last year. So I will pull that out. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So these are the two that I was able to get my hands on. One is Mummy of the Year, and it looks really, really pretty. And the other one is Hello Queen. So these are their 10, Shan, 10 Pan Shadow Palettes that they released for the holidays. Um, this one is last year's purple one, and this one's called The Wizards in Training. I do see some similarities, but when you put them side by side, they are different. So you guys let me know down below in the comments section which of these three you want to see. Now keep in mind, Wizards in Training is last year's uh, shadow palette, so you can probably only get this on Amazon. The other two are these two. So we have Hollow Queen and Mummy of the Year are this year's shadow palettes. So it's between these two. All right, so last makeup product. So proud of myself. Of course, I really couldn't afford to do the shopping, you know. <laughs> um, Juicy Jazz has been raving about this. This is the Hard Candy Just Glow Highlighting Duo, so I had to try it. Um, it looked super beautiful on her skin, so I got two for, I don't remember you guys, this was super cheap. I want to say like $6, so I had to pick it up. It was the last one left, so it must be a popular item. Moving on to the last faux products, you guys. So two of these, you guys know that I love, 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 love. These are so affordable and they're great quality. Like I was so, I wish they sold them on their website because none of my Walmarts actually sell these that are close to me. I have to go out of town to get these. So these are the LA Colors High Gloss Neon uh, Coffin Nails. These are really, really good quality. I got the neon blue and the neon pink. Um, they're $3.98 and unfortunately you can only get these. They're exclusive to some Walmarts. So mine only have the solid colors. Um, I can't find the printed colors. Thankfully, Sharon, of course, again, thank you so much, girls. She sent me some of the printed ones. So I got to, um, wear the cheetah print ones again. All right, guys. So I've been looking for a couple of new products to try out on my curly hair. Sometimes if I use products for too, too long, my hair tends to get really used to them and then it doesn't want to do anything. So I actually had a decent hair day today, <laughs> but this is second or third day hair. Usually I can't get three day hair. I have to wash it. Um, so I was watching some of my favorite curly hair YouTubers and they were raving about a couple of these Garnier Fruitix products. Now these are two products. I think I've tried this one before. This is the Curl Scrunch Controlling Gel, and it has a stronghold level, but it says level three, so I wouldn't think that that would be too crispy crunchy. Generally, I don't like a lot of mousses, and you guys will see that in an upcoming My Curly Hair Routine video. Um, yeah, I don't generally like mousse, but, or generally I don't like gels. My favorite one, and I want to hear from you guys down in the comments, if you remember when Ozzy had the liquid instant freeze gel, I cannot find it anywhere, you guys. So if any of you know where to get that at, I know they have the instant freeze gel like this. No, no, no. This was a liquid. Oh, it was so good. It was the best hair gel I've ever used in my life. <sighs> Why do they discontinue everything that's good? <laughs> 
Okay, so the next product by Garnier that they have been um, raving about is the Curl Renew Reactivating Milk Spray. It says it hydrates and defines curls for naturally curly hair, and it has coconut oil in it. Now, I just finished up one by Pantene. It's like, it was in like a bottle like this, but then it has plastic on it. You guys will see it in an empties video. Um, but it said curl activator on it or curl reactivator. I tried that. At first I really liked it, but then it was like it would make my hair look really dirty and really frizzy. And I just was like, this is not working. <laughs> so I finally finished it the other day and I was just like, no, I have to find something else. A lot of times these curl reactivators don't work for me. I either have to wet my hair down and keep scrunching it and add a little bit of my mousse to it or... I just have to go wash my hair and do it all over again. So <laughs> I want to know down below if you have curly hair and if these products work for you. All right, you guys. So that is it for my super short old Walmart haul. I had a blast that day walking around the store, you guys. I have not been in Walmart since a little bit before March because of, you know, everything going on. Uh, I generally order our groceries and then go pick them up at Walmart. And then things that we don't buy at Walmart or we can't get at Walmart because they're sold out. I'll go to Kroger and then I shop in there. But them, I usually go Monday through Friday where it's just elderly people in there early in the morning as soon as they open. And yeah, I, I actually got lucky the day that I went inside Walmart though. It wasn't too packed and... Um, as it started to get packed, I was just finishing up. So, um, it was nice. It was nice. We're not going to make a habit of that though. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much as always for taking time out of your busy day to come hang out with little old me. You guys know I appreciate you and I love you so, so much. If you're new here, I hope that you'll hit that bell so that you're notified each time I upload as well as the subscribe button so that you can come back and hang out with us. I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to enter that giveaway before you leave today. Just make sure you're checking the community tab. I almost forgot what I was going to say. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.